All right, first things first, make sure you have all your parts because if you don't, you're gonna be hurting. Gasket. Check, check. Most everything is reusable. The main things you're looking at, you make sure you have, are the bearings. And right there's my two bearings. So we are good to roll on that. All right, first thing I did was take out these two screws. That'll let you pull this out. What you're gonna to wanna to unplug is this one. Actually, yeah, yeah, that'll work. And then I unplug this one. And then I unplug that. Actually, I, you don't even have to unplug this, never mind. Just unplug that, pull that loose. That's the only things you need to unplug up here. Really, you don't need these. Most of these are for like apartment complexes and there's a screw that goes down in them. Um, there are two 716 bolts here and here. Don't ask me about the wiring on this. I'm not sure why the previous owners did this. You know how stuff like that goes. Like I said, I like to use my drill. Makes things super easy, super quick. These things are great and super inexpensive to have around. I think you can get these for $3.99 at Harbor Freight. They're high strength steel. Y'all they'll break. But usually when you need them, they'll get the power. Back. What we gotta do, we gotta take this off. We gotta take that hose down there, which is the fill hose. And we're gonna take this off right here. And then we'll take the springs off. We also have to disconnect the motor, disconnect the capacitor, disconnect the motor right here. If you can see it up in there. Cause I've had one of these break before. Oh, I didn't break it, it just broke it randomly. So 
we'll go ahead and toss this. That's off. This thing is just a little rubber gasket. That's all it held in by. Ow. Just pulls out like so. While you're in here, check it. Make sure it's not dirty. That will cause your washer to overfill. Motor. Last time I used a pair of channel locks. This time I'm gonna use a pair of long needle nose. And I'm gonna hope that I can hook it and pull it out like so. Seriously, I've already cut myself. All right. Of course, someone would call and mess up my video. It was my wife. My parents had me change their Wi-Fi today, and I forgot to change it on their Simply Save. So temporarily, I had to change their password back so that they could use their Simply Save uh, camera. Oh, you can just pull that one out by hand, but Tell me, me, you forgot. They say you need a special tool, you don't. Don't try to sell you special tools, Lord. You don't need them. That's 7 sixteenths, too. Ugh. Oh my God, look what I found under there. That's gross. Sometimes you can pull that bell off by hand. Other times you gotta pop it off. If you have troubles, just get out of that lip. Hmm. <laughs> that way I have somewhat of a record of it. And God knows I'm not gonna remember it. I try to take a special tool on it. You don't need it either. You just need a hammer and a monkey wrench. Pop wrench, whatever you call it. I'm really trying not to be loud, but I know it don't help. Got 
됐어요. This is when you do a fix. But you don't want to let this fall. That's what I did, I just draped that over and let it drain. Don't worry if that happens. You got a replacement part. There is a little nylon nut clock ring right in there. You just basically got to tear it out. You got a new one in the kit. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. They just need a good boom. Jump bucket now. Now you'll put these up for somewhere we're safe keeping. This is not a part you're gonna find off a shelf somewhere. I can guarantee it that. Let's see here. The way I do it is I leave the pump and everything just like it was. water band clamp off. The screws gonna come out on this one. But I was just make things easy. Six bolts that hold this on, plus another two screws that hold these weights and this counterweight on.
And there's two bolts that hold the motor on also. These are half inch bolts all the way around here. This is a 516 head. Make sure you don't lose your washer. Thing on that side. This whole motor assembly up and out. These are the newer styles, <coughs> so they shouldn't need the collar. But if you see, I have a little collar, I'll show you here in a second once I start putting everything back together. You can see your problem. See how rusted it is. And this one, listen to that. I can't, dang son, that was bad. That's probably the worst I've ever seen. Can't even get it to move. Well, that's a good thing about these is before a, a mechanical part will fail, the belt will get uh, Here's what I use. I use goof off. It's basically uh, just paint thinner.
there's your main bearing. See how freely that's supposed to free and spin? This, all this is, is a collar. It's for older, older model machines. Um, you'll know if your machine has the collar built in or not uh, once you set down the um, the uh, transmission on the on the drum. Super simple. Keep it off of the side just in case. Simple as that. Line that up. Grab your transmission. Remember which way it goes. Don't be a dough head like me and not mark it. Don't be like me and break something. Fortunately, it wasn't nothing big, but don't do that. That's no bueno. No bueno. It's gonna be way easier if you go ahead and put your belt back on. Then having to lay down and do it. You just gotta think about it a little bit. All right, the bottom's done.
<sighs> Once you flip it over, you wanna take a small bead of caulk and run it around there. Don't really have to smooth it down. What you're gonna put on there next is your main seal. Put your main seal on there. Put your insulation tool on there. Put your hub on there. All you're doing on this is getting the um, getting the seal pressed down on there. That's all you're doing on that step. Okay, this is out, take that out, take that out fit. there's a metal ring right here. You need to take your fingernail and make sure that that metal ring is sticking up over this lip. It'll stick up about an eighth of an inch over it. The inside ring needs to be hotter than the outside ring. Put you on some more silicone here. Don't be shy, put some more. Then you wanna go around Make sure it's sealed. Kind of push it in and up at the same time. That way it don't just daub out and spread out on you. And then do one final pass on it to make things look good and seal up. And there you go. So, spin this around until you get on the hose up. Go ahead and get rid of these old screws and the bolts.
This is your lock, nylon locking ring. It just goes down and over. A little pain in the butt to get on. Don't force it, just help it along. bottom out down there like so now this locking nut it's got a round side and a flat side round side goes down
perfect. I was left handed, I'll tell you that much. I need more of a curve on them. That way there's more of a hook. down on our snuggly. This goes over the splines. Just needs thump down in there. Make sure you give this a good tug that it's not going to come off. Don't stretch this thing until it needs stretched. If it won't stay in place, just shove it down in there. Thank you. 
Why is this being difficult for you? It's a tight fit, mainly because it's waterproof. And then I'm gonna go find a There's two latches on the back.
comes back around. Don't forget your capacitor wires. I can sometimes do this without looking. That's one of them times. The capacitor should already be unloaded, so. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Um, I don't know the official time on it. I think it took me about two hours. This is just what I do. I leave it in place. I go ahead and uh, take it in my back and get the drum fixed and I bring it back out. And I'll have to wait 24 hours, let this dry and set up, and then the washer will be good to go. So I'll catch you around.